If you saw the trailer for A Thousand Times Resist, you were probably a bit confused. Intrigued, maybe, but not quite sure what was going on. The game is described as a hyper-cinematic narrative adventure, which is also not very clear. I googled hyper-cinematic, but nothing came up, so I guess we'll think of the game as just extremely cinematic. But there does also seem to be a good bit of gameplay in A Thousand Times Resist, including dashing, jumping, and time stopping. This footage is from September 2020, so keep that in mind, but I think we just need to wait to find out more about the gameplay. But what I can give you more info on is the story. This comes directly from the game's Steam page. You are a clone. You live at the world's end. You worship the last surviving human, the All Mother. When a dangerous rumor shatters your faith, you phase through time and memory to expose a thousand-year-old lie. Relive, reclaim, resist. All that remains are you and your sisters, living under the shadow of a mysterious disease, cloning one another into eternity. We'll be playing as Watcher, and it's our job to relive the memories of the All-Mother and uphold her glory, whatever that means. Watcher is one of six clone sisters, each assigned a different duty. My mind is running at 100 miles an hour trying to figure out how this all works and what exactly is going on, but I'm guessing it all ties back to the time travel mechanic. We see this really sleek looking time index a few times in the trailer, which presumably lets us explore the same locations at different points in time, possibly going back an entire millennium to uncover the thousand year old lie that has supposedly shattered our world. Now, A Thousand Times Resist will feature a full voiceover, which I think will go a long way in helping to tell this mind bending sci fi story. The game also reminds me a bit of Tacoma, which sets you loose on an abandoned space station where it's your job to investigate what went wrong in the moments leading up to disaster. It's something about the sci-fi setting with these glowing people and the basic premise of uncovering a big old mystery somewhere in space. I'd recommend Tacoma if you're ever in the mood for a short story-based game. So who's making a thousand times resist? Sunset Visitor is a new independent studio based in Vancouver, Canada, and this is their first game. The team is mostly made up of Asian-Canadian creators with a decade of experience in dance, theater, music, film, and visual arts, bringing their background in the experimental performing arts to interactive media. And you can definitely tell that this game is trying to do something different, especially through its visuals. This whole trailer feels like a dream that takes place in some sort of limbo in an untouched corner of the universe, and it makes me want to know more about the story. So shift through time. Experience the past, present, and future because your actions will shape the fate of the next generation. A Thousand Times Resist is releasing sometime in 2023. If this video didn't satisfy your sci-fi fix, here are some more cool games coming out soon.